job. And how'd he do? Rocket got a bunker sale just for you. <laughs> yeah, we're going to get to $910 million. So let's get some supplies. And sell for Miss Phantom. And there he is. Just like that. <clears throat> so we see what kind of excitement we can stir up. And yeah, we haven't had many good crashes. <laughs> You and I aim at pretty much everything. <clears throat> and of course, it's Wednesday. So today, May 10th, I think it is. <clears throat> so we got another non-event week. I mean, for real non-event week tomorrow. Yeah, okay. If you want to say the acid being boosted is an event, I'm not going to say that. Because... <laughs> That's one little business. I mean, I'm not complaining about it. I'm just saying <laughs> it's just one with nothing else really happening. I mean, I remember back in the day, they would have, you know, something in the mission, something in the adversary, something in the, you know, whatever. They would mix it up. It wouldn't just be one thing or the other. And now it's just one thing and then just one thing and just nothing even exciting. <clears throat> I think what they are. Oh! <laughs> if that would have reconnected, that would have been awesome. I think what they ought to do is have a event that they don't publicize. <laughs> and it's only for, I don't know, well, let's just say two hours. But everything is 10 times value. <laughs> could, could you imagine? I mean, because if you're playing, right? And you see all of a sudden a fucking mission's $200,000. It's usually 20-something thousand. You're calling your brush whether they're sleeping or working or what. Could you imagine the stir that would create? And can you imagine how cool it would be to see how many people they could get online at one time this late in the whatever time has been out i mean you want to fucking stir up the fan base or whatever we're called community <laughs> do that 10 times value to even if you did 10 times value one hour it would make such a fucking stir and then people would come back to play the game hoping that it would happen again. Yeah, just at random. Not any special time. Just they could give one guy control of the whole thing and just boop. And now, boom, there it is. Ten times value. One hour. I don't know. I think it'd be funny. I guess. When you think about a uh, Kyle Brickio <laughs> instead of it being one million dollars, it would be ten. <laughs> Could you imagine the air freight? Because those sell for well, it depends on the size of the lobby. It could be like <laughs> five, six million. You get one sale in a big lobby, sixty million dollars. Boom, shakalaka. Yeah, you might actually get people 
helping each other instead of <laughs> griefing each other with that kind of moan. Yeah. I do think passive mode should be whatever change. I mean, I think you should be able to have your gun to shoot the NPCs or police or whatever Sven Goonies come after you doing your work. But if you're in passive mode, of course, you couldn't shoot a person and then a the person couldn't shoot you. I think that's how passive should work. I don't, I mean, you go in passive mode, you want to beat people up on the street, you got to jump and run into them. Yeah. I mean, I guess the fact that they took away the stat for killing people just on the street may have helped. I don't know. We Maybe we should go into a pubic lobby and do some, do some investigating. Come on, Bradley. I mean, Rocket. We saved Quill. <laughs> I like this. He says it was in regular Guardians of the Galaxy. Attention, idiots. <laughs> yeah, definitely. They should make a movie with the tree and the raccoon. Hell, maybe make like a series of them. The Adventures of Rocket and Boop. All right. What are you doing? Out of my way. Do we? I don't think we need to have a chat. We were searching for some, well, they call them rare vehicles. But a lot of the rare vehicles, you can't save anyway. Like the little Pris that's down here at the dock. Oh, it should be down there now. We might see one on this delivery. It'd be cool if you could save it. It's a security Pris. Yeah, and then there's some other ones that have but other cars that have kind of cool colors. But, I don't know. I think we'll maybe look for stuff today. I don't feel like doing another Kyle Prickio. I don't really feel like doing any more sales. Alright, so the security... Chris, I mean, it might not be here because we're selling, but usually he's driving down these roads. It's white. Hmm. Well, we'll see what happens when we get done. Come on, Brazzy. Take it away. I will give it a second before we say see ya.
Ó, oh, Lucas a pé. Uh, I, I think that one is a... Oh, no, I forgot I did one of those. Damn it. I think that... Whatever the thing's called. Eliminate the duh, whatever. Is a jet. Oh, hush, Agent 42. We'll try and get up there. Wait, is that a security thing? Right there? Doesn't look white. What am I locking on? Oh, that dumb shit. Yeah, those happen so often. They're more of an annoyance than fun anymore. <laughs> I mean, every time you go past a location, one of those is going on. So I think this one's a jet out here at Madrazas. So we might have to have Save Los Santos Guardians of the Galaxy Edition. <laughs> yeah. Wait, did I put my money? I must have. Okay. I was to put my money away when I did Union Suppository. I did have a weird thing happen. A noose guy stole my car and drove away with it. Yeah, I did a little video. But I was getting so shot up, I, I couldn't spend time talking and whatever about it. So, I don't know. We'll see how it came out. So, maybe we put it and maybe we don't. Oh, no. This is the helicopter one? Oh, we don't do that one. Oh, we don't care about that kill list, Brazzy. That's the dumbest kill list ever. Alrighty. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs> Thanks for the kind comments. Thanks for subscribing and spending time with me in 2023. Rocket says that big thumber. <laughs> it's for you. <laughs> oh, God, see ya.